Maria, Moldar, Jay Owens, and Mumford and Sons in your blues break this morning. I know what you're thinking. Brock, Mumford and Sons isn't blues music, and you are correct. Anyway, I'm often called into creative direction meetings at uh, you know advertising firms, record labels, on account of my genius. And over the weekend, I was called into the Nike headquarters to help them think of a new slogan. We don't often tread too far from our original just do it, Mark said. But we need a fresh take. Want to keep it close to home. Uh, anybody got any ideas? Eric? No? Nothing? Thomas? You got? No? Hmm. What about you, Brock St. Clair, DJ at WMSV 91.1 FM, weekday mornings from 8 to 10, host of Cooking with Brock, radio's number one cooking program, and handsome man. Well, first of all, thank you, Mark, for using my full title. Second, don't worry, I've prepared a presentation, gentlemen. They all looked at me wide-eyed. Eric, Thomas, Mark Parker, the CEO of Nike. And I had. I had a PowerPoint presentation that I'd like to now share with you. It compiles all of the suggestions I had for, Mikey, for Nike's uh, marketing repositioning. And it goes like this. <clears throat> so currently, we've got just do it. Tried. True. Boring. But we keep, keep it close to home. You know, we don't want to lose anybody. So how about this? Just blew it. A campaign where our spokesperson is the iceberg lookout on the Titanic right after hitting that iceberg. Example commercial. The lookout sitting in the lookout chair. The boat rapidly approaching an iceberg. But the lookout doesn't notice because he's too busy looking at his Nike sneakers. The boat hits the berg and the lookout looks at the camera. The slogan appears, just blew it. And the captain hops in frame and says, don't get sunk. Get drunk. We also encourage driving under the influence in this campaign. Thoughts? Okay, how about this one? Just cue it. It's a marketing campaign centered around that jerk at the party that hunts down the Spotify phone just to tap the song they want. Instead of waiting in line like everyone else, how can you be so inconsiderate? Are you kidding me? You know, you're the kind of person who sees someone they know in a big, long line and just happens to start a conversation with that person that lasts five minutes so you can assume the people behind you in line forgot that you weren't always in that spot in line and you just stay there. But I didn't forget. I didn't forget, you terrorist. Just cue it. No? Okay, how about this? Just internal revenue it. Everything pretty much stays the same, only we have one marketing campaign change. Our limited run shoes become even more limited run because we drive to the owner's house and repo 50% of them. It's like Thanos for shoes. Thank you very much. Just three of my millions of ideas. You're welcome, Nike, the company, and scene. At this point in the meeting, I got a standing ovation. A sucker I was handed. Good job. Wow, said Mark Parker, CEO of Nike. Great job, champ. Your mom will be so proud of you. Did I mention Mark Parker's my stepdad? Did I mention that? I should have mentioned that. It's an important plot point. Hey, tune into The Juke. It's the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight that plays blues music. Blues that reminds you to marry rich. I've got Modest Mouse up next. It's Float On. I'm Brock St. Clair. It's Cooking with Brock right here and only here on 911. Wow, I got really mixed up on that one, but I think it ended up uh, being conveyed in the way that I wanted it to be conveyed. Fantastic. That's great. It's good. It's really good. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for listening. Leave a like if you enjoyed. It really does help me out a lot. I'm going to run now to my class, so I'm at least partially on time. And I'll see you tomorrow or later this week.